mentioned earlier on, rescue teams retrieved more bodies from inside the hull overnight and earlier this uh, Sunday morning. Unfortunately, it looks like we can expect the death toll to increase even more in the coming hours and days. We have two of our correspondents, Jim young gil and yuri who are down at Peng Mokong Harbor, just 20 kilometers from where the Sewaro Ferry capsized. And it's, of course, the focal point of search and rescue operations. They join us live from the site. myung Liane, there must be an increasing number of bodies being retrieved. We are seeing the death toll rise by the minute, but no change in the number of survivors. That's right. The death toll has been rising as a, as quickly as it has been throughout the day today. Uh, but in the latest number we have got here is also uh, a stand at 58. The rescue team here has been trying to identify the of the the identities of the bodies that's been coming into the harbor, and they have also set up a board here uh, where they're writing down the descriptions of the bodies and also the clothing that has is on the bodies as well for the families watching uh, in fear that those descriptions match up to their children. Now, uh, the dozens of bodies have been coming into the harbor today uh, uh, ever since midnight yesterday. That was when uh, the Coast Guard here was able to get break into the windows of the vessel for the very first time. Now, also, there are special tents set up behind me where DNA samples of the bodies are, are being retrieved and the bodies after that are getting transferred to the hospital. And rescue operations also continue today. Tonight, two underwater drones will be coming here at the Pengmokan Harbor along with two U.S. technical experts who will lend support to the ongoing rescue operations. Also, a total of five guidelines which divers can use to get into the vessel have been attached to the Seoro Ferry. With the new routes into the ferry secured, the divers can all simultaneously carry out rescue operations. The emergency headquarters here says they have over 560 divers carrying out an all-out rescue and search operations today, along with 204 vessels and 34 aircraft. A side scan sonar has been dispatched to detect any bodies that may drift away from the accident site. That's right. And also the weather conditions are still looking pretty clear out here. We're getting a bit of a wind, but they are going just at about six meters per second. The tides have also been pretty calm throughout the day at about just going as at about just as high as one meter. Now the families here are watching the rescue operation from from afar, just hoping and just holding on to the last remaining hope that their loved ones are still alive out there. Back to you guys in the studio. Some developments that will help fuel the hopes of the, the families and friends of the victims. That was our Jim Young-gil and Yuri reporting live from the Pengmokong Harbor nearby the accident site. Thank you for that report, guys.